people are making Discord servers and these are popping up literally every single day. There's like 10, 20 to 100 servers popping up with the same exact suspicious cookie cutter type of site every single time. All of these Discord servers are promoting and profiting off of it. This is happening on the surface internet now. It's not even any more scary than the dark web is. They're, they're just equally as bad as each other. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an incident that happened around 2018 to 2019 or until today. What will happen if someone is part of the community fully defends the fandom, including the bad slash toxic side? This is Discord's favoritism incident. You've been on Discord on 2018 to 2019. You may have been involved through a controversy. Around 2019, one of the moderators named all the foxes said that content isn't violating Discord's terms of service. I try to check it on images and what the and it's not just that. There were multiple amount of users and servers have been deleted or banned due to not allow furries on their servers or making fun of furries, and it was quoted as harassment. Discord has a bunch of moderators that are part of the furry community, and they have a favoritism bias. Look, I don't mind about furries. As long they don't defend everything, including NSFW. Ruben Sim has talked about this on Visual Ventures documentary. Discord server is mostly Roblox users, and as you probably know, most Roblox users are underage, and so me and my friends that moderate the server, we decided that we shouldn't allow any type of NSFW content anywhere in any channel. Time and time again, we've had people violate that rule, and they've almost always been furries. And so we noticed this pattern, and we decided that we needed to do something about it. Ruben and his team ended up banning all furries in his Discord. And then we instated a rule saying no furries allowed. I have friends that are furries and even they like understood yeah we know this community has a problem and we understand if you don't want furries in your server the people at discord didn't seem to think that way discord staff didn't like the fact that furries were not allowed so ruben's discord server started getting banned it started out as warnings we would get emails or messages from discord saying things like you moderate a server that participates in harassment he didn't know the reasons for these bans but it became clear over time Time, we kind of figured it's because people are identifying furries and telling them to leave. Ruben talked to me about how on Roblox, if you say anything negative about furries, you'll get banned for hate speech. And a lot of people have been banned just for saying things like, I don't really like furries or furry bad. And I kind of feel like Discord is the same way, where they see furries as some sort of class that you're not allowed to discriminate. Pedophiles can get away without any consequences, but a YouTuber who makes a trolling video on furries without any form of harassment can get you to permanent deletion. Quackity, who is involved in this controversy, talks about this unfair ban. All because he made a video called Awful Furry Discord Servers. What, what does that even mean? Posting images of people using Discord in ways you think is funny? As far as I'm concerned, I've never posted a single image of Discord on my Twitter, on any of my social... Oh, oh, is it this video? Does this video mean posting images of people using Discord in ways I think is funny? Why would you blatantly mention the raids, but so cryptically talk about awful furry Discord servers video? And even then, that video was not breaking any community guidelines. But thankfully, it has been banned on Discord around February 2019. Although that content is banned, there is still a bunch of users and servers freely allow inappropriate content. Let's just hope that all of the inappropriate content will be terminated. No matter who you are, everyone is not above the law.